everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another First Suit Friday video. One of my most frequently asked topics has got to be about bringing your character to life while you're in your first suit. Whether you're toony, realistic, or anything in between, you have the power to bring that character to life. That's why today I'm going over my 10 favorite tips for adding personality to your fursuit. So let's get started! Tip number one, try to convey an emotion. Is your character cheerful? Maybe they're grumpy, or maybe they're lovable, or whatever qualities you can think of. However you want your character to come across, trying to make that emotion visually apparent is a really great place to start. Once you find something that feels right, you can really start to build on their personality. You can go pretty much any direction with it. Tip number two, give them likes and dislikes. They don't necessarily have to have likes and dislikes, but it's really fun to give your character things that they get excited about or that they react to. Anything to give your character a set of go-to interactions. Tip number three, try everything. Try everything. Don't get discouraged if your first choice doesn't fit 100%. Take plenty of time to brainstorm and I know you'll come up with something. Great, now that we have our first bits of the personality in our character, it's time to bring that personality to life in your fursuit. Which brings us to tip number four, exaggerate your movements. When you're in a fursuit, you're covered in several layers of material. That means it's gonna be way harder to see any subtle movements you're making. For example, if I see my friend at a convention and I wanna wave hi, this is what I would look like if I waved at them the exact same way that I do out of suit while I'm in my fursuit. See that? Not, not a lot going on there. <laughs> but if you put a little more movement into that, see? You get a little more wrist movement, maybe an elbow or something, even just like a little head movement. Tip number five, think like a video game character. I mean, really think about it. In 3D video games, how often do you see a character standing perfectly still? Pretty much never, right? Even a little idle movement can really add some life into your fursuit. Sometimes I'll just bop back and forth like an Animal Crossing character, or if I hear music, I can bop around to the beat. But these little idle movements are gonna really add a little bit of extra personality to the suit. Tip number six, play to your species. If you're gonna dress up like an animal, you might as well take advantage of that, right? Plus, it's a really fun way to immerse everyone into seeing more of your character and less of a person in a costume. So am I like soft breaking the magic right now? If you're a dog, chase a ball. If you're a cat, bat at strings. You can even make up mannerisms for whatever species you want. One of my favorite examples of this has got to be telephone. I mean, they made up a whole new creature and brought it to life purely with body language. Tip number seven. Get animated. When you're moving around in your character, give it a little flair. Some pizzazz. One of the easiest places to start is to think about how you want your character to look while you're walking around. Do you want to be a happy character and go for a casual stroll? Or maybe you're a sad character and you want to mope around sluggishly. Or maybe you're a grumpy character and you want to walk around all huffy with your arms crossed. Just use your imagination and give everything your own personal touch. Tip number eight, utilize props. Are you the kind of person who doesn't know what to do with their hands? Never fear, props are here. You just grab a prop and boom, now you're doing a thing with a thing. But really, props are a fun way to open yourself up to all kinds of new interactions while you're in suit. Tip number nine, use your head. One thing that a lot of my favorite fursuiters all have in common is the use of facial expressions. While some people can literally change the expression on their fursuit's face, a lot of fursuits don't have all that newfangled magnet technology. So we act it all out. It's really cool how viewing a fursuit head from different angles can actually change the expression on their face. Everything from a smile to being shy to existential dread. It can all be expressed with the angle of your head. Hey, that rhymes. Tip number 10, practice. It sounds kind of silly, I know, but practice in front of a mirror. You never really fully know how you look in suit until you're staring directly back at it. And from there, you can really fine tune all your movements so you can get them all exactly how you want them to. So thanks again for watching this week's Fursuit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have any tips for adding personality to your fursuit that I didn't include in this video? I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for new videos every week. Also, if you want to directly support the content that I produce on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these beautiful Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I want to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Psh